In the investment world, we categorize people into three types of investors. The conservative investor does not want to take a lot of risk and wants to make sure that they preserve the value of their principal. So they are called a low risk or conservative investor. The moderate investor is willing to take some risk because they want to make some more return. And so they take, say, a 50-50 mix of risk and safety. The aggressive investor really wants to earn money and they're willing to risk everything. And so they take a lot of risk investments and very little safety investments. Let's take a look at a conservative investment portfolio. First of all, a conservative investment portfolio will be very liquid. That means that most of it you could sell and turn into cash within one or two days. Secondly, it's going to have mostly income producing principal protection type of securities. That means bonds that pay interest or bank accounts that pay interest. And you're going to have a small amount of equities um, where you're going to be taking more risk, but most likely you're going to be choosing value equities which produce higher dividends. Now let's look at a moderate portfolio example. Again, it's going to be liquid. You can pretty much sell it in a few days and get your money back. But typically you might have half in safe or income producing bonds or cash equivalents or bank accounts and half in equities with a bit more in the growth side of life. And you can see on the chart we've got half in equities and half in safety or fixed income. Now here's an aggressive portfolio. Here we have some liquidity but we have a also may have a lot of things that are illiquid that are going to give us even higher returns. We're going to have a very small amount of income producing bonds or safe assets, maybe 10 or 20 percent, and the rest of it, say something like 80 or 90 percent of the portfolio, will be in spicy, high risk, growth type investments. Now could you be a conservative risk taker and an aggressive risk taker at the same time? You could. It depends on what type of portfolio that you're constructing for what purpose. It really depends often on your time horizon. So let's take an example of Daniel. Daniel has a conservative portfolio for saving money to buy a house in three years. He also has a very aggressive portfolio, which is his retirement account, because in that retirement account he has like a 60 year time horizon. So he can be both a conservative investor in his savings portfolio and an aggressive investor in his retirement portfolio. If you want to have an aggressive portfolio, what's the best kind of account to have it for? Well, retirement accounts when you're under the age of 60, money that you've saved that you don't need and you can afford to take high risks with. It would be okay if you lost the entire amount of money or again, money to start your own company. Investing in yourself by starting your own business is very high risk, but it could be very high return, provided that you can cover your living expenses while you're taking on this high risk investment in yourself. Now, how do I figure out the right risk tolerance for my portfolio? Well, you can ask yourself really two questions and figure it out. First question is, when do I need this money? How much time do I have for this investment to work? Remember, if you have less than, say, five years, equities are going to be a very risky bet. Second, can I afford to risk this money to get a higher return? If I lost this money 100% or I couldn't get at it for a year or two, would that be okay? So if you can answer both of those questions in a way and say, yes, I can have a long period of time, and yes, I can afford to lose this money, then go ahead and take high risk.